China is in the middle of one of its worst coronavirus outbreaks since the pandemic started a year and a half ago. A surge is being traced back to an international... Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Airport in the eastern part of the country. The government is shutting down transportation systems in an effort to curb the spread. Already, cases have been detected in at least 18 different provinces. Remy Innocencio reports. The reach of this COVID surge in China is wide. Hotspots are flaring in more than 30 cities in at least 18 provinces. And for nearly every single day this past week, daily infections have been on the rise. The country's COVID epicenter is the southern city of Nanjing with more than 220 cases. All 9 million residents have been forced to undergo compulsory COVID testing. Medium and high-risk neighborhoods are now under lockdown and the airport is shut. And cross contamination at the city's airport is to blame. About a month ago, an Air China flight from Moscow landed in Nanjing. Investigators say cleaning staff contracted the virus while disinfecting the plane and then spread it to domestic flights. Meanwhile, a second COVID super spreader event has been linked to a theater performance in the tourist city of Zhangjiajie in Hunan province. Now that's where attendees sat shoulder to shoulder, not socially distanced. Thousands of people were in the audience and now the city's one and a half million residents are under a total lockdown. And then there is Wuhan, where the world's first COVID cases were of course found. Three locally transmitted cases were found on Monday. That's the first in more than a year. All 11 million residents of Hubei's provincial capital are now enduring another round of mandatory testing, and we know they are no stranger to COVID hardships. As for China's capital, Beijing, no one is allowed entry into the city from any other place that's reported a COVID case, but Chinese health experts say this surge could be over or tapering off by the middle of August, and Ben Cowling, an epidemiologist at the University of Hong Kong School of Public Health, told me that if there is any country in the world that could beat back COVID again. It's China. Vlad, Henry. All right, some troubling developments, Ramey. Thank you.